daiquiris, mojitos, and a crowd of Canadians eager to learn about Cuba. The entertainment is courtesy of celebrated Canadian jazz artist Jane Bennett and her Cuban band. She's been traveling regularly to the country for more than 30 years. I could get away um, out of the cold, but also be inspired. By Lately though, she's noticed that with more and more American tourists arriving, Havana hotel prices are way up. Even the pensions or B&Bs, you know, the prices of those have gone up. So far, the stampede of Americans into Cuba has mostly headed to Havana, not to the beach. The U.S. government's travel restrictions have been loosened, not removed. Visits are only allowed if the trip falls into one of 12 narrow categories. None of those categories include going to the beach. This travel agent says hotel prices in Havana have shot up, but that prices at beach resorts are only up a little. Yes, that's still available. Just a moment, please, and let me check. And that increase can't be blamed on Americans. It is due to the fact of the Canadian dollar having gone down compared to the U.S. dollar. The United States should not prop up the Cuban regime economically. But will Cuba ever be fully open for business with the U.S.? Prior to being elected president, Donald Trump said he might reverse Obama's decision. That uncertainty is apparently not a concern for Canadian tour operators. So we've seen on our side a big increase in terms of demand over the last, I would say, 12 to 18 months. Transat Tours has added flights to Cuba for this winter. Lots of questions remain, but one thing is certain, Cuba will be hot again this winter, and Canadians won't have to share the beach just yet. Diane Buckner, CBC News, Toronto.